I'm going to do a blender video in which I model this bird feeder and it's, it's a very simple model as most of the things that I do as a relative beginner and this video would be pretty much for beginners um, but we'll use some techniques of um, arrays so we'll be doing arrays and um, some uh, slightly different types of extrusions and beveling of using the bisect tool and uh, booleans and um, the spin modifier and if we have a look I don't know if I my next image shows the, the back the ladder uh, I can't see the, the flower but we'll be um, using some uh, some curve modifiers as well Okay, so um, this is what I'm going to build, something like this, a little bird feeder with a bit of a, a country or a western um, theme to it. All right, and the food would go in here and the birds come down and perch and they can just, uh, just hang out or they could stand here and stick their head through and talk to each other and sing to each other. Okay, so I am in Blender 2.76. I haven't updated in a while. I've got my screencast keys on and I'm looking in top uh, ortho view right now. And I'm gonna do this by adding a plane and I'm gonna create the roof for this, all right? So I'll scale it a little bit more. I'm gonna go into edit mode and I'm going to add control R and add one edge loop right there, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab uh, these two edges. I'm gonna go into front view so looking straight at it now and I've got these edges selected and I've got a, a line or an edge right there I'm just gonna pull this down so I'm creating the you know the angle of the roof okay so that's that's going to be the roof and then I'm going to um, I guess go here back into object mode and I'm gonna add modifier and I'm gonna use solidify and I'm just gonna bring the thickness up till I like the thickness of my roof. All right, so let's assume I like that. I'm going to hit apply. And now I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to, in face select mode, I'm going to select these two faces. Shift D to copy them, P to make them a new selection, and go back in object mode. And now I can select this part, just those faces there. And I am going to scale like this, put it back down, okay, I'll zoom in on it, and I'm going to use solidify on this as well. I'm just going to crank this up till I like the thickness, maybe something like that. Okay, fine, and I'm going to scale this in the Y all the way out. And I think maybe I'll go a little bit further. Is that what I want to do? We'll try it like that. Okay. All right. Um, now I'm going to uh, save. And I'm going to come into this uh, new object here. And I'm going to go Control R. And I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think eight edge loops. And I'll do the same on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, don't know, I hope that's the right number. Face select mode, I'm gonna grab every alternate edge or poly like that on that side and on that side. Actually, before I do that, I take it back. I wanna hit apply scale. Yeah, all right, so let's do that again. I believe I could come down to, to here and do, uh, I don't remember where it is actually, select, uh, uh, where's checker, whatever. I haven't used that for a while. All right, anyways, <clears throat> with that stuff selected, I'm gonna come up to extrude individual and I'm gonna pull down and that's gonna push those up, but I don't want them too much. I don't know, maybe, maybe around there. And without losing my selection, I'm gonna hit Control-B, pull back to bevel these, 
and I'm going to just put one segment in there. Okay, and that's going to form my little, I don't know, my little design part at the top. Okay, so far so good. So let's have, go back and look at the reference image. So I've done that. Now I'm going to do uh, these pieces. And um, <clears throat> I think let's try doing it this way. Let's uh, grab this face there. Let's do Shift D, P to make a new selection. And so I've got that there. Mm, this might be a bit of a problem though. A scale it in the Y. Maybe to there. Nah, I don't know that this is going to do what I want to do. Let's go into it, select it. Let me try this in normal. E to extrude, pull that out just a little bit. Just like that. Let's try selecting it all and scale. I mean, I could use a bisect tool, but let's try scale it in the X. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Well, um, yeah, I think I want this under, don't I? I want it to go underneath. Yeah, I'm just do, I'm doing it a different way than I was doing it before. Let's drink beer and see. See if we get inspiration for this. So what I basically want is I I um I want this underneath that other stuff, and I don't need it to be that thick. You know that might nah, you know you kind of see it though. Well, let's try this. Uh, let's try just pushing it down a little bit. Looks okay to me. All right, let's go object, apply, scale. And let's try just the the, uh, the, the bevel plugin. Let's add maybe two segments, that might be too much. Let's see if I can uh, adjust the width to get any bevel on that. Yeah, that would, that would work. Uh, let's, let's apply that and let's bring this over here. And now we'll array this. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So what we're gonna do is uh, let's try this. One with this zero. Okay. Now I don't I don't think I want one. I think I want a little bit more space than that. One point zero three. Let's try that. Let's just see what that looks like. No, actually, if I just slide it over a little bit, I can hold shift to constrain it. I should actually be on the side, then I can see better. What did I do? I moved it down. Right around there, let's see if that looks reasonable. It doesn't stick that far over the edge, but I think I like that. So I'm going to apply that, and... Or the geometry. I'm going to see if I can mirror this uh, with respect to this right to the other side. Apparently, I can, which is what I was hoping. I'm apply that and save that. All right. So there's the beginning of my my roof. It's going to look a little bit different than that one, but that's okay. So. Now what I want to do is I want to make this front and the back part, okay? And um, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Front view, Shift A, bring in a, we'll use a plane, I guess. Rotate X90, scale it in the X, get a nice thin plank, pull it down and forward. Z. Just to get a sense. Let's just try that. We can adjust. Um, we'll go ahead and array this. 
1.03. I'm try 1.03, but I think I want. Well, that might be actually just fine for the spacing. trying to decide how far under the roof I want that. I think I want more space. Scale in the axe a little bit. And I always end up you know, like, like kind of like that. And, and then I just decide how far down I want it. Now let's go ahead and um, let's extrude this. So let's go E just a little bit okay let's zoom in like that and see how thick I want my planks I, I kind of like that thickness right there uh, select it all and uh, just reorient my polys so let's say that was the how it was going to be obviously I need this up higher I think I might need it a bit longer Okay, so I am going to um, I'm gonna apply that, and here is the uh, I don't know, not, one, not exactly the trick, but I'm gonna select all that, and I'm gonna use the bisect tool, and I'm just going to cut up through the roof there like that, and that's gonna put a line there and it doesn't have to be perfectly you know 45 degrees or whatever because it's not going to be seen but because of the roof all I'm going to see is this so no, that's not making any sense to you I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean I'm going to switch over the vertex selection and I'm going to grab all these vertices and I'm going to uh, delete them and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to grab these ones I think I can safely delete those okay fine so far so good and then I'm going to um, come over and um, select again a bisect tool down here and I'm going to cut up through the roof again just like that B to select the box select uh, and delete the vertices and let's just have a look at what that's done so far I now have those planks you know nicely uh, going like that all right now if I want to do something with them I, I'm going to have to hide this stuff come back in to edit mode and you'll see that they're open and I may have missed a couple as well that's totally fine so what I'm going to do now is in edge select mode I'm going to just go like that and I'm going to go F okay create a face uh, after create fa I'm doing a shift and alt am I yes I am shift and alt create a face deselect now come back over on this side create a face just copying them off now you might think that it's not necessary but um, I'm just putting it on so I can uh, bevel these properly okay so let's there you go. So it's all it's all done. Let's uh, object apply scale just in case that's necessary, and we can bring everything back and just have a look at this as I try the beveler. We'll put two segments, and you know what? To keep things simple and light, that might be just fine. Except. All right. Now, before I go any further, I am going to take this and I'm going to mirror this with respect to that top piece across the Y, and I'm going to apply that. There, I've got my front and my back. All right, but in the front, I want to um, punch a hole. Shift A, cylinder, default values, 
rotate x 90, scale it down, bring it through, and I don't I don't want it all I want to do it like that. So it's into the all the planks. It's inside. Is that the size I want? You know, however big you want it. Just like that, I'm going to go object apply scale, choose this front layer, boolean difference with that guy, hide, and I've got my nice hole with no problems through the front. Now I'm going to bring that back and I'm going to move it down and I'm going to scale it. form the little perch and whether I like it uh, that big or not I don't know it's up to you I guess um, <clears throat> and I'll come into this so select that edge and just bevel it a bit there you go you can smooth it but I don't want to get into that for right, right now okay so far so good all right Starting to look like this a little bit. I mean, you know, the positioning of the hole and the and the the perch is a little bit different. I admit. Okay, now we're going to do the base part. Very straightforward. Shift A, bring in a cube, bring it down, scale it in Z. that scale in the Y a little bit not too much maybe a little bit like that okay and then let's go into this face select mode grab that inset pull it in just a decent amount that you like uh, it doesn't really matter if it's equal on this side and on this side Okay, I'm just going to eat extrude. Oh boy. And bring it down a little bit. That's where the food's going to go. Um, okay, yeah, well, I can move all of that. So I can bring it down a little bit more. Let's <coughs> bring this whole thing down a bit. Okay, like that. Um, that's fine. It's a lot of room for food. <clears throat> um, and what I might do as well is just um, take this one here, inset again, a bit like that, and then scale it in the Z. And this is what I want to do. Uh, it seems like the cheap way to do things. Pull this out to make that front sort of stage area. Um, maybe a little bit thinner like that. So that'll go back there. Let's save that. Let's do object apply scale. We could bevel it. enough I think okay let's grab this shift D uh, rotate Z 90 and from top view just for the moment anyhow bring that side view um, maybe I'll make these ones a bit smaller but not shorter scale shift X Make sure it's in. Yeah, it is. Give me some room to stand. So put it there. Let's say if I do that, let's try an array. Let's give them some real space. Three, maybe four. 
give him some more space. And then we will um, look at roughly centering them. I'll use this blue line as a guide and see what that looks like. Okay, and by the way, do I have the beveled end out or not? Yeah. Okay, we could do that. I could apply that. And then I will um, mirror them across. So let's go mirror with respect to that part there. Apply. And now I've got those as extra, there's more perches. Oh, there's enough room for birds. Okay, so it's coming along. Um, we'll do a little, little ladder on the back of this thing. I'm just gonna come to another layer now. Down on this and go Shift A. We'll use a cube. Let's scale it way down, small. And scale it wide. That shift D to copy it. All right, let's scale these in the Y again. Okay, we'll just do it like that. Shift D will take one of these, rotate Z90, and scale in the X. scale it but not in the X scale shift X just to make it smaller so it fits and I'll bring it up here and now before I do anything else object apply rotation and scale I can't remember if I rotated or not um, let's bevel this uh, less it's gonna be so small I really don't care how it looks that that much Let's do the same thing for these. Object, apply, rotation and scale, bevel. All right, just does the line. Uh, 0.12. Bevel, 0.12. How's that look? Yeah, okay. Let's apply, did I not apply that one? Yeah, and did I apply that one? Yeah. All right, let's array this. Um, uh, that way. So zero, and we'll do uh, minus three, just out of curiosity. No, minus three. Okay. Minus nine. Minus eleven. Okay. first layer and it's pretty big that's okay though I'm gonna rotate X90 so one is the front control one's gonna be the back put it there down let's try the side view and see Get it right there Control one is the box. So we're gonna scale this in the Z. Yeah, I kind of like it like that. I'm gonna rotate it in the Y. Like that. And then we'll just get it in there. Kind of like that. Uh, do I like it? No. And it's basically, yeah. I'm gonna join that to to the body there. All right, well, a bit weird. Okay, so far so good. Now, we let's do wagon wheels. Okay, I gotta come back to another layer. My, my way of doing the wagon wheels, anyhow. Uh, not that I really have a way. Um, what do I do? What am I wanting to do? select 
I have to make a face. Okay, stop doing that. Eat extrude. Bring that up like that, I guess. And select that. ID inset and Control E bridge edge loops to do that. And um, let's go into edge mode. I want to. I'm gonna need. Um, actually, I want that to be thicker than that. Scale in the Z like that. Grab this edge, Shift D, and P to make its own selection. Grab that, and bring that down to around the mid. I don't, I'm not sure why, but um, let's scale this out. Ah, yeah, okay. Let's geometry, geometry. Just scale it out. Just imagine a wagon wheel, like kind of like that. Um. I guess I'll select it, make a face, eat extrude, and make that part of it. I'm not sure this is exactly how I wanted to do it, but um, it's happening now, isn't it? All right, well, it's, it's fine anyhow, so we'll figure it out. All right, let's go back in. Select the top and the bottom. Oh, inset. Ah, gonna inset like that maybe. And uh, bridge edge loops again. All right, select it all, control N just to flip the polys, make sure they're in the right orientation. So we could have that part like that. Um, and then I was thinking, um, I probably need more stuff, but for the moment I was thinking I could just bring in a uh, I don't know if I should do a cube or a cylinder I just kind of want to do a cube just bring it make it small and bring it you know kind of in the middle I'll scale it again and um, there, let's do it this way grab this face and bring it in to touch that Thick to me, but no, maybe not. Let's uh, actually let's do this. Uh, scale this in the Z. Yeah, I think that's going to be better. That's fine. Uh, we will do object apply. I don't know if I rotate it or not. <laughs> Just that. Let's bevel two segments. Cool it down. This is just a stylized uh, wagon wheel. Okay, so now we're gonna use the the uh, the spin tool. All right, so I got my 3D cursor in the center there, and I've got my object here. I'm gonna go into it, select it, and go spin. And I want you got to choose 360 to go all the way around the circle, and choose how many. Ten. If I go 11, you know I'll go 11 just to make it different. Oh, uh, and, and while you're in there, select them all, go remove doubles, and select them all and control N to flip some of the, the polys in the right orientation. And you would get that. Now this part looks kind of weird, doesn't it? So I'm gonna try just uh, just uh, scaling, scale shift Z though. Uh, and then they're gonna come into the middle, aren't they? Well, um, that's actually fine because what I could do is I'm gonna put something in the middle around. All right, you know what? No, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll grab those center polys and I'll go um, scale shift Z. I'll just bring it, make it a smaller thing like that. Um, okay. Um, let's try. Let's just bevel this thing. Let's not bevel it. Let's add a subdivision surface to it. Two. Now we're gonna start blowing our poly count. How's my camera doing? Not 
too tight with the rings. And I guess I'll do the other side too. Let's see how she looks. Sweet. All right, that looks nice. And um, for this part, I will take this edge, Shifty P. <laughs> I was getting confused there. Uh, I'll take this and I'll bring it down. It's around the middle. I'll come in. I don't know why I just did that because that was not really necessary. I have to make face. Uh, e to extrude. Uh, I did it again. And it's, uh, no, that's not what I want to do. It's, it's, it's going to do that. No, I don't want to do that. I don't think. I don't think I want to do that. Let's scale it out a little bit. Um. to do more or less because I wanted to solidify and just add a little bit of thickness to it and, and scale it ever so slightly out and then scale it in Z Smooth that. We'll get that. And this one, let's actually hide that one. <clears throat> I was thinking of subdivision surface again. Sorry to say. Yeah, okay, I just don't want to polys to go too crazy, but it's really not. I'm not animating this. What I'm going with. So let's just see if there's anything. Uh, did I apply that? I'm applying it now. I'm applying it now. Let's just grab it all. Okay. And let's move this baby back here. Wow, it's a big wagon wheel. Let's bring it down. Okay. <clears throat> Let's rotate X90. Let's take it, put it against the wall, somewhat against the wall. Then we should scale it a little bit. And let's uh, rotate the X. So it leans against the wall, sort of. Fancy. Okay. We could make a little fence. <clears throat> and this is the cool part, you can start just adding little little details for the birds to enjoy. So if we wanted to do something like that, we do it this way. Okay. Uh, shift S, cursor selected. And then I could um, bring in a, like a plane or something. Rotate X90 and um, uh, rotate Z90 if I wanted to work, you know, side, sort of sideways and uh, scale it in Y and uh, scale it in Z, scale it in Y again, scale in a Z. So 
let's say we were going to use something like that <clears throat> to make a fence. It would have to be something more like that. Um, I could go to. Is that what I want? Just a two. Grab that point and, and that point. Bring down. You know, something like this. Control N, uh, yeah, something like that, and apply rotation and scale. Let's say we could bevel two segments. Might look a little bit chunky and weird, but just kind of like that. Oh, let's just see if that's too tall or whatever. Yeah, let's do it like that. Let's make it a bit thicker though. Okay, so I could do something like that and set up a place that I want this. Let's say it was there. And then I could array this. Not that way. That way, the negative. Of how tight you want this. What if it was like that? Yeah. And let's say yes. And then let's say I mirrored this. Whoop, not mask. Mirrored this across that. Apply. Make sure that we're touching the ground. Okay, we can do something like that so far. I probably, I don't know. I probably should have made these things before I did that, but. What are we doing? Straining our eyes like crazy. Um, I don't know if I should be using cylinders, but I just don't really want to. I wonder if I can just go right through the middle of these. You know, without having to make them all the little pieces. Like this, but make it small enough to scale it in the X. Not even visible. You know, who cares you're wasting polys? I'm not worried about it. Shouldn't say it like that, but you know, it's very thin, I admit. Is that a problem? Can I, can I, can I still bevel that? I'm even gonna see it if I bevel it, you know. So, did I hit bevel? Keep skipping over it. Yeah, that's what I want. 0 0.1. All right, I'm doing it. What if I do that? Hmm, I don't know. Something doesn't look right. Maybe it's just that. Maybe it's that. Um, now I want to do this, you know, and now I wish I didn't do that, so I, I think I will, um, in wireframe, box select and get rid of all these, and 
then mirror this again. Okay. That, there's that and um, now let's make a little barrel or something and maybe we'll, maybe we'll leave it at that okay so let's come up to another layer it's a little bit easier to do it here uh, shift s curse service center center everything up okay shift a I'm going to do a cube Scale it down. Um, scale it in the X. Scale it in the Y. Okay, we want to look at it this way. Scale it instead. These are going to be like the planks that I use to make my barrel. like that and then what I'm going to do is come into it and add one just three edge loops I'm going to grab this I got it I'm actually going to grab that edge loop there all the way around and I'm going to put on um, proportional I only enable that and I'm going to pull and I'm going to adjust the size of that circle and I just want to make a bit of a, you know, curve like that. Nothing too much. You know, that's good enough. Okay, so back to top view. Okay, so I haven't adjusted the origin or anything like that. Now, <coughs> I'm going to use a curve. It's a regular circle, but it's a curve. Scale it into what I think would be like my barrel size, but I'm going to be adjusting this in a bit. Select the piece. Array, a few counts, but I'm going to increase this 1.03. Keep coming back to that number. We can mess with that in a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to add a curve modifier. And down here, I'm going to choose my circle. And uh, now I'm going to increase the count. I'm going to look at it a bit. And see if I like it and it looks just fine it looks fine all right not gonna worry too much about it so I'm actually gonna go accept and apply and um, just be done with it I can actually even get rid of that circle I don't need it anymore now this scale in the Z now you know do whatever you want with it um, I'm gonna bring it up and I'm going to add a circle scale. I'm going to look you this way. And maybe I'll even do a wireframe. That probably just confused the hell out of me. Scale it sort of like that. Let me try that. Get out of wireframe now. Edit mode. Select F, make a face. Eat extrude just a little bit. Oh, okay, I got proportional editing on, so turn that off. Um, fix my polys. And yeah, okay, it's a bit big. Scale. I just want to make a bottom to this. I don't know why. If you happen to look down, big deal. Okay. Object, apply, rotation, and scale. And I'm going to 
always facing my way. I want to add bevel, two segments, play around with the settings a little bit. Let's try smoothing it. That's a weird looking barrel. Apply. Um, let's take, let's scale this actually a bit bigger. No, I think we're going to need it like that. Let's go into it and grab that. Shift D, T to make a new selection. And let's uh, just find that new selection and bring it up, scale it until it pokes through. that mm. Mm -hmm. that's not exactly what I wanted to do oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I want to get rid of just the face nah. all right it doesn't mean it doesn't really matter um, but I will uh, if, nah never mind eat extrude bring it up yeah okay all right whatever select the polys and flip them yeah all right okay well grab that that end and that, that one and that one oh, those two polys i guess i'm going to do an inset inset to about there Control E bridge edge loops. I just want this part. Don't call me crazy. Let's scale this out a bit. Okay, so that's gonna be like a ring that goes around the barrel. Scale it to Z. Let's make it a bit bigger. Okay, let's go apply uh, scale and I will bevel this as well. Uh, no, I won't run like that. Okay, so we'll come in here, we'll grab that edge and that edge, we'll try it double this way. Two segments and smooth. We got that. And if I wanted to, I could do another one up here and just scale it in a bit. I might even be able to stand to scale that one in a bit. Okay, that's all right. Let's grab all of these. Control J. Did I get everything? Yep. Yeah. Let's move it now to the first layer and put it in our scene. into that and the birds could look at and go for that seem pretty small compared to the wagon wheels it was a big big wagon all right all right so uh did i bevel everything i wanted to yeah that's good that's good enough i think all right so that's how i would make my my little bird feeder all right and um yeah thanks for watching